Hello crafty friends, I'm Lubomira and thank you for joining me today. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Make yourself at home and I invite you to check out more of my content. For those of you returning, thank you for taking the time out of your day to spend a few crafty moments with me. I love being able to share my creations with you and I hope you enjoy the time we spend together as much as I do. Now that you are here, remember to like and subscribe to my channel. By hitting that little bell, you'll get notified every time I post something new and you'll never miss out on any of the crafty goodness. I usually try to share new videos on Fridays, but since Easter is this Sunday, I'm releasing a new video today. I know it's a little late, but I wanted to share this project just in case someone needed a last minute idea for a card for Easter. In fact, I'm sharing two cards using Dollar Tree products. Let's get into the video. For this project, I'm using Dollar Tree metal border dies, some bunny shaped wood ornaments, and a set of alphabet stamps. To start off, I used a stamping foam to create an imprint of the wood bunny. This is the Simon Hurley stamp foam from Ranger. For those of you that haven't used this product before, Basically, it's a dense foam that you heat up and press into things to get impressions that you can then stamp. I heated the foam for about 30 seconds and then pressed the foam onto the bunny shape. You may notice that I have placed my bunny on a piece of white paper with an outline. I wanted the bunny to be in the center of the foam, so I used the visual aid to help me get the foam in the right place. The secret is to move quickly and apply an even amount of pressure as possible across the surface that you're trying to imprint. It does take a little bit of muscle. After I had the impression of the bunny, I swiped some Distress Oxide inks over the foam to completely cover its surface. I used the colors kitched flamingo, tumbled glass, and salvaged patina. You don't see it because my hands are off camera, but I lightly mist the surface of the foam with water using a spray bottle. Then I press the foam down onto the paper and wait a few seconds allowing for the ink to take to the cardstock. The result is almost a block print effect. My first impression came out really bold, but the sides were a little wonky and there were some spots that I missed in the background. So I repeated the process. I really loved my second bunny and ended up using it for the card. Now you can keep doing this over and over again. The foam will retain its impression until you warm it up again. I trimmed my bunny panel and also cut some white glitter cardstock to place behind the panel for a little shimmering frame. This is the Dollar Tree glitter cardstock and I have to say I've been really impressed with it. To add a little bit more shine, I wrapped some metallic silver twine several times around the bottom of the panel and secured it in place with some tape. I then attached my panel to the white glitter cardstock using liquid glue. For the sentiment, I use the Dollar Tree alphabet stamp set to create a greeting. The letters come attached, so you need to separate them by snipping them if you don't want to do a lot of masking. There are four sets of fonts, two lowercase and two uppercase in the stamp set, so you can get a lot of use out of them. Now honestly, this isn't the easiest way of getting a greeting for a card, but it is doable and very customizable. My trick to getting nice alignment is to use a piece of acetate between stamping. Whenever you don't know how something will look when you stamp it, grab some acetate or any clear film and place it over the area you want to stamp. Once it's in place, go ahead and stamp the image as you would normally. When you lift your stamp, you'll have the impression on top of the plastic film, allowing you to see what the image would look like without actually putting ink to your project. If you don't like it, you can make adjustments to your stamp and test it on the film until you are happy. When you are satisfied, remove the acetate and stamp directly onto your project. Just remember to keep your paper aligned with the plastic if you're using multiple stamps, replacing the film over your project between each stamp to avoid any unwanted ink. I 
I used silver pigment ink and individually stamped each letter to form the greeting Happy Easter. I tested each placement using the acetate before actually stamping it on the cardstock. When I was done, I trimmed my greeting and began putting my card together. I attached a light purple panel to my card base and then added my bunny to the card front using foam tape. With the help of a T-square, I added my greeting to the card, also attaching it with foam tape. I decided to add a little bow to the metallic twine. I simply created two loops and knotted them together to form a faux bow. I then glued the bow into place using some liquid glue. The second card I created was less complicated technique wise. I began by heat embossing one of the wood bunnies. I pushed the bunny into my embossing ink on one side and then sprinkled embossing powder over the wet ink before setting it with my heat gun. To avoid getting burned, I created a handle by attaching the bunny to a little bit of cardstock by using some tape. I added three coats of embossing powder to the bunny before I was done and set it aside. To create my background panel, I used up some of my scraps. I cut an assortment of pastel colors into strips. The cuts I made were about 1 4th and 1 8th of an inch wide. I attached my strips to a panel using double-sided adhesive. I prefer using double-sided adhesive over glue because I find it to be less messy. I take a piece of cardstock and a piece of adhesive and with the help of my scoring tool, I line the two up and attach them a small piece at a time. When attaching strips, I usually do it at a diagonal. This avoids any issues with having to line things straight. As I work, I keep a portion of the release tape over the adhesive so that I don't get stuck to my own project. I also snip away overhang with scissors as I go so I can move the panel around with ease. Now, in my previous card, I stamped out my greeting using individual letters. Well, this time I'm using a much easier and a much faster method. I went ahead and used my word processing program to type out my greeting and then printed it onto my cardstock. 
this method is quick and super customizable. I either type up a lot of sentiments to trim them down into strips, or I keep in mind the space needed to trim down a panel around the printed sentiment. In this case, I made sure to leave plenty of room around my sentiment so I could trim it down into a larger banner. Once I printed my greeting, I trimmed it into my banner. The banner is roughly about two and five eighths wide and three and three quarters inches tall with the Happy Easter centered towards the bottom. To add interest beneath the greeting, instead of just cutting the bottom, I trimmed it using one of the Dollar Tree borders. At this point, I put the card together. Off camera, I trimmed my strip panel by a half an inch on the top and bottom and then attached it directly to my card base using liquid glue. I then added my Happy Easter banner to the front of the card using foam tape. And lastly, I glued my bunny to the middle of the banner using glue as well. After the glue dries, the bunny is held securely with just my Barely Art glue, but you can use an alternative like hot glue if you wish. This card definitely has a lot of dimension, so you may not want to put it through the mail, but hand deliver it. If that isn't an option, you can bypass the foam tape to eliminate one of the layers of dimension. And that's it for these projects. What do you think about these dollar supply cards? I really love how the bunny image came out in the first card. And while I chose a little bit more of a glitzy style, I think it would really look cute with a rustic vibe, perhaps with craft card and burlap instead. The bunny in the second card really reminds me of the chocolate bunnies wrapped in gold foil stores carry this time of year. What do you think? Please leave me your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and please leave those comments below. I really love seeing what you have to say. I hope to bring you another video very soon. Who knows, maybe I'll have something for you Friday too. Until next time, have an amazing day, and I hope life treats you kindly. See you soon. Bye.